He said, but imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life and that you, for whatever reason, you never went after that dream. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those talents. You never used those gifts. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you forever. And the question is, if you die today, what dreams, what ideas, what talents, what books, what music, what leadership, what voice will die with you? I know the excuses. So do you. Of course you do. Listen as you rattle them off one after the other. I'm too tired. I don't have time. I need a rest. I'll do it later. I'll work extra hard tomorrow. I worked hard yesterday. Make it happen. Through force of will, make it happen. Don't be weak. I believe that the single most important skill is the ability to make effective decisions. Because everything comes from decision. You only get new results if you take new actions. You only take new actions if that decision comes first. In other words, decision is the father or mother of all action. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief which means you're gonna to have to work for a long fucking time by yourself with no applause, with no awards. Nobody fucking believes in you because you haven't done anything yet. That's the reality. What if you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong? That it was wrong. That you were chosen to do something else. And you didn't do it. Meaning comes from working on something. It's that simple. I think a lot about, you know, the act of going for a hike. The purpose of going for a hike, ironically, is not to get to the top. It's to be on the trail. If you focus on the freaking trail, whatever step you're on, and you keep reminding yourself, this is gonna lead me somewhere, that is where the meaning comes in your life. If I were to cut my hand and watch it, my nature says, close up the wound. And I just have to watch it. And there's something, there's a healing stream that I am connected to that will allow that wound to heal. So my nature says, close up the wounds. Don't bond to them, don't hang on to them, close them up. And your nature also says, close up the wounds of your past, close them up. And oftentimes we ignore our nature. If you wanna be great, you wanna be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you can be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there, that's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you wanna fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you can do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. It comes from when you make a decision to be disciplined. When you make a decision to be better. When you make a decision to do more and to be more. Self-discipline comes when you decide that you're gonna make a mark on the world. And if you think that you're not disciplined or you can't be disciplined, it's because you haven't 
yet decided to be disciplined. It's because you haven't created that discipline yet. Beliefs create and beliefs destroy. Every belief you have either creates or destroys. And the problem is most of us are not conscious of the beliefs that we have. A belief is nothing but a feeling of absolute certainty about what something means. When you're absolutely certain about what something means, you have a belief. You might believe you're worthy or not worthy, but all you're really saying is, I feel certain about this. They literally change our life. We don't experience life. We experience the life we focus on. It's not what happens that determines the major part of your future. It's not what happens. What happens happens to us all. Said the key is what you do about it. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it. Demonstrate that you like yourself. Demonstrate that you accept yourself because if you like yourself, you don't go out in the world and look for other people to like you because you don't need it. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. Most of us don't like to do those things that come easy to us. You have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, if you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.